Justin. Justin, do you have any big OSU Iowa memories before you got here? Have you come up any duels that you don't yeah. have? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, the one that really sticks out is the pitching in Ethan a couple of years ago. Uh, that's probably the most memorable experience I have that. And then Chandler Rogers got a pen that duel too. And uh, celebration was really cool. So. <laughs> You're further down the lineup, but when a, when a duel starts, fall, tech, fall, fall. Mm -hmm. Does that momentum roll all the way down to 184? Oh, absolutely. It was <laughs> uh, it was crazy. You know, we ran out, ran back in the locker room, and I swear it felt like five minutes went by, and they're like, hey, 149's up. I was like, oh, I got to start getting warmed up. Like, <laughs> this happened quick. <laughs> so uh, it's always great uh, to get that start going and to get that momentum going early, and, uh, yeah, it's a good duel. Was it kind of fun? Because this place was back to the way you want it oh, last yeah. Sunday. Yeah, no, it was incredible. A lot of my teammates have talked about it. That's the most packed Gallagher's been, I think, in my career. So we, when we first ran out, I was like, man, this is, this is gonna be really cool. So it's awesome. What do you remember about the pitching any pin? Oh, I think that's probably the loudest I've heard Gallagher. Um, the place just blew up and went crazy. So you were here? Yeah. Where are we sitting at? I don't know. <laughs> uh, probably where we're at now, like, There was like a, a moment where everybody kind of gasps because they see him walking the cradle. Yeah. Well, he was on the edge of the mat. Can yeah. I take me through how you saw it all? Uh, I, I saw him in on the leg, and then as you said, he kind of walked up the cradle, and there's kind of, you know, a sudden uproar because a lot of people saw that, you know, he was a scoring position, and when he went to his, uh, he took him to his back, the place was kind of just deafening. Were you already committed to you by then? Um, I don't know if I was committed yet or. I don't know if I was or not at that point. From your perspective, just being a, a fan of, of the sport, how big is the OSU Iowa duel and the rivalry going going back? It's really big. Um, two of the greatest college sport programs, you know, regardless of sport, um, going head to head. And there's been a lot of great matches, and going to be another one this year. So I'm really grateful to be a part of one of those battles, and uh, hopefully things go well. Oh, yeah. What was your first impression of him? Uh, good day. He's always been a great teammate. Uh, he's kind of a quiet guy. can be a little more reserved, but uh, he's always been a great leader in the room, especially by example. Uh, phenomenal wrestler and great guy. Yeah, you talked about how he's been wanting to go into coaching and knowing him for as long as you have. What do, you, do you think he'll transition well into that role? Yeah, I think so. Um, he knows a lot of skill, a lot of wrestling, and I, I think he'll be a great coach. Where have some of the young guys, particularly the freshmen, shown you uh, this this season? I'll say they're a lot more composed than what I was as a freshman. I was kind of uh, really up and down, just emotionally. You know, I'd win a couple matches, and I'm like, oh man, I can't win really the title. And then I get beat, and it's maybe I don't need to be in college wrestling. And they stay. Uh, they're all very even keel, know what they need to do, know what they need to get done, and uh, all really mentally mature for their age. I think. Isaac was telling us that it, it feels like he's been on this team longer than he has. Do, do you kind of feel that, that he's been around? Oh, absolutely. Than he yeah, yeah. Isaac's uh, he's definitely one of us. Fit, fit in great, and uh, you know, this year we've been real close as a team. I, I think that's helped. What did you know about him before he got here? Not a lot. Um, whenever I heard he committed, I started looking stuff up. Of course, and he's from uh, Bakersfield, California, which is I was actually born there, okay. and so kind of gave a talking point for when he got here, of course. But uh, yeah, he didn't know a whole lot. So how old were you when you came here? Just up. Hmm? How old were you when you got to Oklahoma? Uh, I was like four or five. I don't really remember anything from California. I don't really claim it much. But uh, it's kind of crazy. I got two team teammates here from Bakersfield. And so my dad knows a lot more about the history and all that stuff. Is Bakersfield a, a wrestling city? Or is it? I, th I don't know a lot about it, man. I, yeah. I'm not sure. Um, I think I, Isaac could probably answer that question a little better, or Andrew. But, uh, yeah, I don't know much. All right, so two years ago, no teeth. Last year, teeth. So we're back to no teeth now? Yeah, so I had uh, implants put in, and they failed. And they didn't really know if it was from my body just rejecting him or getting hit in the face a lot with wrestling. 
And so now I'm just going to write it out until I'm done competing and get them put back in so I'm not just redoing the process every year. What's the, what's the most difficult part of not having you? Girlfriend nagging. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, not not eating or anything like that? Yeah, no, there, there's some challenges like that. Like pasta, you know, spaghetti noodles. Okay. Can't really, like, slurp them up. So it's like, got to have my rolled up on the board, so. Thanks, Dustin.